Hello, everyone. Um, Turtle Developers here again with another cybersecurity related video. So today we will be discussing the Tiny Encryption Algorithm, or T for short, T-E-A. Okay, so a little about it. Um, it was introduced by David Wheeler and Roger Needham at the Computer Laboratory of the University of Cambridge in 1994. Um, the TEA is a symmetric key block cipher designed for simplicity and efficiency, especially in resource constrained environments. So this can be related to IOT devices or RAM or memory low devices. Think of uh, embedded systems uh, and a little bit about the motivation in why this was created. It's, um, it, it was specifically designed to be simple and efficient for those low resource devices and suitable um, for smart cards and other small embedded systems. So this whole algorithm or the TEA or the tiny encryption algorithm is known for its minimalistic structure, utilizing basic bitwise operations such as XOR and left shifts. If you think back to previous explanation videos I've done, we've utilized left shifts and XORs um, countless of other times. So we know that this does produce cipher text uh, as the end result. So another point is that the algorithm operates on 64-bit blocks of data with 128-bit E. And this key, this essentially keeping the code size and computational demand relatively low, right? So main points here is that there is a key initialization in the tiny encryption algorithm and it employs 128-bit E, right? Organized as two 64-bit values, right? So, and that key is set during the uh, tiny encryption algorithm's context initialization. Okay, so next main point would be block processing. So data is processed into 64-bit blocks, right? And then the plain text or ciphertext is divided into these 64-bit blocks. Next, there's rounds and operations being completed. And that tiny encryption algorithm uses a fixed number of rounds, usually typically 32. And then each round involves bitwise XORs, left shifts and additions based on the key. Next main point would be some variables. Um, the tiny encryption algorithm introduces a sum variable initialized with the constants as seen on the screen here. Um, these is these constants are from the golden ratio. Uh, so the sum is then updated during each round, influencing the XOR and the shift operations. Uh, next, we have the output generation. So after all rounds, the modified 32-bit blocks are combined to form the final 64-bit ciphertext. Uh, and decryption follows a similar process and reversing the operations to retrieve the original plain text value. So in our next video, we will be applying this algorithm in the language Rust. Um, so I will see you then. Until then, have a good one.